Now, that home buyer tax credit provided millions of people with checks from Uncle Sam. But there were some other surprising recipients of that tax break, including young children and even prisoners. Here's ABC's Pierre Thomas. By all accounts, the first time home buyer tax credit program has been wildly popular, with millions of Americans who sought to take advantage. Americans like Carlos Conjura. It's very important for me to, to own a house to, so I could provide for my family. But it appears that criminals, including inmates, have been taking advantage too, potentially stealing millions of taxpayer dollars. According to a draft report by a Treasury Inspector General obtained by ABC News, an estimated 1,295 inmates filed fraudulent claims totaling $9.1 million. Sources tell ABC News some of the prisoners receiving checks were serving life sentences for serious crimes. The audit also discovered the IRS approved multiple claims for the same home. Investigators say part of the problem was that under the tax credit program, the IRS initially did not require taxpayers to provide documentation to prove they actually bought a home. IRS officials say improvements have been made and that only a small number of inmates beat the system. And they say some of those inmates now face more time in the big house, not their dream house. Pierre Thomas, ABC News, Washington.